Hi everybody, hope you're well, hope you're doing okay. Before we start the video, I'm just going to let you in on a little insight into how things actually happen here in the Trojan household. So when you see a review coming out from me, bear this in mind. In the last 28 days, I've had to write this down by the way, in the last 28 days, I've been asked to review 38 different products or services. Of that, I refused 22 of them, 10 of them were sent out, six of them I returned because they were broken or they were rubbish, and four of them I agreed to produce a review because I thought they were worthwhile and it would be something that I wouldn't actually go and buy. Now you're going to see a lot of this product on many channels over the next couple of days because the company in charge of this has really saturated the market to get some reviews because they're trying to promote the launch here in the UK. But I wanted to share this with you anyway because this is something I would go and buy and that's the premise of reviews that I do. If it's something I would buy and it's something that I thoroughly enjoy using or find a benefit using then I will share that review with you. Otherwise, there's no point in me reviewing it and sharing it with you, because what's the point? So without further ado, let me introduce to you the Explorer E240 portable power station from Jackery. Yep, Jackery. I've never heard of them either. They're very popular in the US. They specialize in outdoor power solutions, and that's exactly what we're going to look at today. Now, they're celebrating the launch here in the United Kingdom with the launch of their new UK shop and distribution. And so they've sent me this product here for review, and also they've supplied a discount code for you to use between the 17th of March and the 31st of March 2021. More on that a bit later on. But right now, let's have a closer look at exactly what they've sent over. So in simple terms, it's a lithium battery power pack that's been engineered to create three separate outputs. A 5 volt DC output, a 12 volt DC output, and a 230 volt AC output. I know many of you are going to be really interested in that AC output, so let's just give you some quick technical specs on that right now. The output is pure sine wave, which means it's perfect for sensitive electronic equipment such as a laptop, and the output is rated at 200 watts. So back to the specifications, the Explorer 240 weighs three kilograms. It measures up as 23 by 20 by 13 centimeters. And if we have a quick look at the front panel, we see that we've got a single 230 volt socket, a 12 volt car cigarette socket, two USB sockets rated at 2.4 amps, a very useful display and a recharging socket. On the sides are vents for the inbuilt fan, just for when things get a bit toasty. And that's it, nothing on the back and nothing on the other side. In the box, along with the power station, we get a 12 volt car charging cable, an AC charging block and a mains lead. Now this 240 is one of the smallest in the range, but there are bigger ones weighted at 500 watts and 1000 watts. So because this is the smallest in the lineup, what exactly is this thing going to run? Well, it won't run a heater, it won't run the microwave, and it certainly won't power on the air conditioning here in the caravan. It will, however, charge my phone 24 times, it will charge my laptop three or four times, it will run a 5 watt light for 21 hours, it will charge all my camera batteries 11 times over, and run a 60 watt mini cooler for 16 hours continuously. Now obviously it's not going to do all of those things at the same time, but I'm sure you'll agree that's actually quite an impressive list. Okay, so in the real world and away from the marketing verb, what does this thing actually run? Well let me tell you what I've used on it on a single charge this week. It's powered up the hair clippers twice for my hair and Chloe's, thank you very much Mrs T. It's also charged up our Dyson vacuum three times and has also been a great help in charging up my iPad, my phone and my camera kit whilst I've been working away this week. And the reason I like this device and the reason why I would actually go and buy one is because we have a need for it here in the caravan. We can recharge our vacuum and this may sound ridiculous but we can recharge our vacuum whilst we're here in storage. You see I come into the caravan quite a lot. I do quite a lot of filming. I'm filming all around the place. And this caravan does get a bit grubby because I'm always in and out. And our vacuum, our cordless 12 volt vacuum is rubbish. But being able to recharge a decent vacuum here in the caravan is something that we've longed for for a very long time. In fact, it was the biggest inspiration for us putting an inverter in the caravan all those years ago. Yeah. And in fact, whilst we're away off grid later this year, which we are planning to do, I'll be able to recharge the laptop, we'll be able to recharge my camera batteries, my light batteries and my audio stuff, all of that stuff I can recharge because I can use that little Explorer 240. As I've already explained, it comes with a 12 volt cigarette adapter and a mains lead, but also there's optional extras as well that you can purchase to go alongside this Explorer 240. And that is a solar panel, which Jackery called the Solar Saga. We've got a 100 watt panel sat outside at the moment, supplying current into this Explorer 240. 
This is a monocrystalline panel and it's rated at 100 watts. As you can see, it's coated in a fabric backing and the stand, and it's super, super lightweight. The actual panel is held together by two magnets by the handle, ideal for traveling so the face won't get damaged. And you simply open the panel, release the supports, unzip the pouch to reveal the cable and plug into the Explorer. Now the panel doesn't have an onboard controller. The Explorer has an MPPT solar controller built into it. However, on the back of the panel, there is two USB sockets one USB type A and a USB type C, which means that you can get the fastest charge possible off of the back of the panel. And I think that's a really neat idea. In fact, it's quite usable. In fact, that you just plug your device in, zip up the pouch and leave it to sunbathe outdoors. So my conclusions on this device. Well, it is something I would go and buy. I've already said that. However, I wouldn't buy this one. I'd buy the next one up. I'd buy the 500 watt uh, output version uh, because that gives me more flexibility and gives me greater choice of things that I can plug into it. That being said, this has been absolutely perfect for keeping all of my devices that require recharging, keeping them running, including the laptop, which is sat with me right now. It's been absolutely awesome. I think it's gonna be better than using a generator because obviously it's gonna be quieter, it's not gonna be polluting, and obviously I don't have to tug around a generator full of stinking petrol in the boot of the car. So it's gonna be better in that respect. That being said, I think there are two areas on this device which do need a little bit of attention, and I think let it down just a little bit. We are here in the UK, and in the UK we have plugs like this. As you can see, the cable comes out the bottom. In the US, they come straight out the back like so. And that's probably the biggest problem with this device. The placement of the 230 volt outlet is too low on the front panel, which means you cause a very tight kink in the cable if you're using it on something like a work surface. What I've had to do is I've had to prop it up a little bit to allow the cable to fall down nicely. Another problem with the device, you can probably hear it, is when the fan kicks in, it is quite noisy. Not a problem, I imagine, for most people, but if you're trying to film whilst using the device, it can be a little bit intrusive and it is a bit noisy. However, I don't think it should stop you buying one. I think they're fantastic. This one has been great for us, but like I said, I'd probably get the bigger one, just a little bit more power behind it. Obviously, bigger and more heavier. So, to celebrate Jackery's launch here in the UK and the availability of these devices on their website and on Amazon UK, Jackery have supplied a discount code which is available in the description below and on screen that you can get 20% off of this and all of the other Jackery products. So if you're interested in the solar panel, you can get that for a reduced rate as well. Now this discount code is only available from today, the 17th of March until the end of March 2021. So after those dates, there's not gonna be any discount codes left, I'm afraid. But nonetheless, I hope that gives you inspiration to just hurry up and go and get one if you're in the market for one. So there we go, hope you found this video useful. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon as well. And if you can do all of that, then we'll see you next time. Many thanks for watching guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.